Victor, and I was just thinking, <laughs> I really need to get back out there. <laughs> Uh, My father-in-law will golf with their snow on the ground. <laughs> he doesn't need an excuse. I actually shot a 61 uh, on the first three holes, Shannon. I was like, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell you what, if you were golfing today, it really wasn't too bad. Of course, we had that bo <laughs> that bonus sunshine. Uh, temperatures that were not as warm as yesterday, but still pleasant. But notice the clouds have taken over. No precipitation yet, though the shower and the fog chances do increase over the next uh, couple of days. In the meantime, we're quiet, looking at New Bedford with a similar situation as well. Clouds have rolled in. Temperatures have settled back into the 50s. Uh, Mid-50s, New Bedford. Newport's cooler at 50. Here in Providence, 53. And Coventry now with clouds and 56. So initially, the early part of the evening is dry other than maybe an isolated shower if that but because the humidity is on the rise overnight tonight fog and drizzle first along the south shore so you know Newport Narragansett you may see that by 10 11 o'clock tonight and then spreading inland overnight and into early tomorrow morning one thing we've been talking about all week is that the shower chance is increasing both Thursday and Friday each day it's not all day rain but each day you need to keep the umbrella on standby the heaviest of the rain meaning downpours and stronger wind would be later tomorrow night into very early on Friday morning weekend looks mainly dry not perfect but mostly dry Looking at a uh, chance for some showers very late in the day on Sunday, sometime after 4 or 5 o'clock. We'll see that in the seven-day forecast. Most of the precipitation for now is to our north and west, but the system that we're watching over the next few days is a storm across the southeast. When we take this into the future, you see this area of low pressure intensifying and tracking north and east across the Mississippi Valley. So tomorrow morning, uh, showers, drizzle, and some fog. That'll pull away. You get into a little bit of a lull in the early afternoon, and then more drizzle and showers for the evening commute. But as we get towards late Thursday night, the storm itself is back through the Great Lakes, but this front will bring a round of heavier rain and wind starting later Thursday night, pre-dawn very early Friday morning. The Friday morning commute early, 5, 6, 7 a.m., some downpours, some thunder, and some strong wind. That'll lift away, so we tend to dry out a bit during Friday afternoon, and especially Friday night. If you're heading out Friday night, weather looks, looks okay. But this system, this area of low pressure will stall up across southeastern Canada and just circulate cool and generally cloudy weather on Saturday, but mainly dry with temperatures in the middle 50s. Get a close up look tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. This gray represents low clouds and fog, a little bit of drizzle. Mid to late morning, we start to see some steadier precipitation. This is around 10, 11 a.m. That moves away, a little bit of a lull in the early afternoon and then showers and drizzle sort of organized once again for the evening commute. This is tomorrow evening evening at 6 o'clock and then much heavier rain and wind arriving late Thursday night starting around midnight and then spilling over into early on Friday morning. So for tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. fog and drizzle and then some steadier showers mid to late morning. Keep the umbrella nearby during the afternoon, cloudy, humid, maybe a leftover shower in the early afternoon and then showers drizzle and sprinkles and fog coming back for the evening commute and then that heavier rain later tomorrow night and into early on Friday morning. There it is on the seven day forecast, looking at temperatures on Friday close to 60. We should know it will be very, very windy early on Friday morning. The weekend looks dry, though extra clouds on Saturday, breezy, cool at 55. Most, not all, but most of Sunday is dry. As we get sometime after four or five o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the chance of a shower with temperatures in the uh, lower 60s, but somewhat unsettled over the next uh, couple of days. All right, thank you, Tony. Still ahead on 12 News at 5, water fire set to